Hello, I'm the Budget Modder and this is episode 11 of my Meng 124th Fokker DR1 build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. To begin this episode we're going to get the stitched seam in place. It needs a tad fettled off here and there to get it fitting right. So without further ado let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and get this cracked. There we go, that's nicely seated and in place. Next, we can get the engine firewall glued into place. So, here we go with that. There we go, that's the firewall glued in place. It needed some super glue as it was slightly warped. The tool you saw me using was my homemade super glue applicator. It's a twisted bit of wire with a loop. The loop is snipped and separated by a couple of mil. Then the twisted end is snipped to the required length and slotted into the end of a pin vise. Next up, we prep the engine cowl ready for priming. So let's get that cracked. There we go, that's the cow test fitted and prepped for priming. That took a bit of a while as the sprue gates were right on a ridge on the cow, so we had to take care cleaning those up. Next up, we're gonna be cleaning up the upper wing. So let's get that ready for priming, shall we?
we go, another cock up. I managed to snap one of the aileron connectors off, so I need to replace it. I'm using styrene strips here, which match perfectly. So let's get that fixed, shall we? There we have that done. We'll pop that to one side just to leave it dry. I did the priming off camera as I used rattle cans. So we can now spray the black square on top of the upper wing. I'm freehanding this as I will mask off the black when I come to spray the olive drab. So here we go, let's get that done. There we have the black squares done. I also did the underside as I wanted to emulate the insignia showing through the canvas, but that's another story. Bit of foreshadowing there guys and girls. Next I'm masking off about 2mm of the front of the aircraft as this was be sprayed yellow. I'm using some flexi masking tape here which I was given by my late mother-in-law. This stuff is awesome, love it. Thanks Mags. I don't know how, but I managed to pop the stitching out. So a bit of homebrew extra thin and that's sorted. Now we can carry on with the masking. Just so you know, we're masking off ready for the yellow. That's all the parts masked up ready. So let's get this yellow sprayed on. As you can see, I got a little bit too keen and eager on the yellow. So I had to clean it up with a cotton bud. I've also got to admit that doing this model has taught me patience when it comes to spraying pale colors. Light coats, that's it. Not heavy coats, not wet coats, light coats. It stopped things like that happening. It also gives you more control of how much of the pre-shading you show. So. Let's get back to it, shall we? There we go. There's the first couple of coats of yellow down, so they can pop over there to dry. Whilst that's drying, let's get the German insignia on the wing, shall we? No! What I'm doing is tracing over the decals here as I want to emulate the underneath. So, let's do that. Not put the decals on.
There we have one stencil. Let's see how this goes on. That's the white stencil done. Now to cut out the one that will block the black cross out. Now here comes the fun part, getting this level and even all the way around. Ooh, look at that. I forgot I only did it in two attempts. Was it the other side that took longer? Anyway, I'm digressing. I'm doing my squirrel impression. Let's mask it off now, shall we? There we go. All masked off. Let's go outside and spray it from a rattle can and see what it looks like. Not too shabby at all, even if I say so myself. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end. So, thank you for watching episode 11. If you want to see what happens in episode 12, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.